Hey y'all, welcome back to the Project DIY channel. Today's project, we're gonna talk about the saga of my 2013 Ford Focus. Let's get started. You guys may have seen my 2013 Ford Focus in a previous video. I've had a few issues with it, problems with it overheating, had some transmission troubles and a few other things. The overheating problem is what we're going to talk about today. Now, I bought this car used and it only has 32,000 miles on it. It's a nice vehicle. Um, it has been wrecked and repaired. So having a few issues with it is understandable. Now, after driving the car for a few weeks, I started noticing that the air conditioner would blow hot whenever I pulled up to a stoplight. And what that usually means is the cooling fan's not working. Now, the air conditioner uses the cooling fan to cool down the condenser out on the front of the car. So after making a few checks, I realized that the fan control module was not working. Had power going to it, had nothing coming out to the fan. And I tested the fan by hooking it directly to the battery and it worked perfect. So I jumped on the place where I do most of my shopping, Amazon. Sure enough, they had the part. Fan control module. So I installed the fan control module and you may have seen the video to that. If not, I'll put a link to it right here. And what followed was a series of unfortunate events. I have never seen anything like this in a vehicle uh, in my entire life and I do quite a bit of mechanic work on cars after putting the module on uh, I drove the car for probably about a week started having these strange issues where it would just run terrible um, drive down the interstate and get off the interstate uh, get onto the highway hit the gas and it wouldn't do anything it would just sit there um, it wouldn't gain any speed had no power um, I could push it all the way to the floor. It would finally downshift and then it would take off and it would work fine. Ish. It still ran a little crazy. Um, that happened mostly uh, while driving down the interstate. So after driving it like that for a while, trying to figure out what was going on, I decided that maybe the math was dirty. And so I cleaned the math and made a video on that link that right here to that video and also change the spark plugs and that seemed to help just a little bit um, but then it went right back to doing what it was doing before uh, no power after it warmed up and just really rough inconsistent running when it was when it did have enough power so i thought about it some more did a little research and found out that these cars have an issue with the purge valve. Now, what the purge valve does is it opens up at different points um, whenever the ECM, the computer in the car, tells it to open up, and it sucks uh, fumes out of the gas tank into the intake of the car. It's an emissions uh, piece of equipment. So, I went and ordered that from O'Reilly's, and it came in the next day. Went and got it put it on same thing still just generally running bad and having no power at times now all during all this uh, the check engine light never came on there was never any indication from the car itself that there was anything wrong other than it just ran terrible so after that I got kind of frustrated and started just throwing parts at it basically um, went and got some coal packs and put on it that didn't do it and finally it dawned on me this problem didn't start until I put the fan control module on but it didn't make any sense whatsoever that that would be the, the cause because the fan control module has nothing to do with the way the engine runs other than it keeps the engine cool and it allows the air conditioner to work so I thought about that for a little bit and decided to unhook the fan well, when I unhooked the fan, the car ran perfect. 
not an issue whatsoever. I ran it like that for a few days, keeping in mind that if I pulled up to a red light or something or got in traffic that I would have to shut the car off to keep it from overheating. And also my air conditioner wouldn't work whenever there was no uh, air blowing through the radiator like when you're driving. Car ran beautiful, no issues. So this was really strange to me. I've never in my life ever seen that anything like that before. So I thought, well, you know, this is a Chinese part from Amazon and uh, maybe there could be an issue with it. Maybe it's back feeding back into the electrical system or something weird like that. So I went ahead and got on eBay and ordered an OEM Bosch unit, which was 20 bucks more. I should have ordered that to begin with. Put that on, perfect. Fan works perfect, car runs perfect. Never seen anything like that. So I got to thinking what about this control module could be causing the car to run funny. So after looking this thing over real good, I realized that this thing really is one whole piece of plastic and there's really no need for these covers on the outside. So I wonder why they're on there for. Maybe a heat shield of some sort, keep the heat from the engine from affecting the fan. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe it's an electromagnetic uh, shield, an interference shield per se, to keep this thing from interfering with anything else. Well, when I got to looking, the fan control module sits right down here next to the throttle body. I mean, it's really close. Now the throttle position sensor on these throttle bodies is not your typical potentiometer uh, like a, an older or a, what I would consider a normal throttle body. This throttle body uses uh, a sensor, a Hall effect sensor with uh, magnets on the shaft of the of the throttle plate and that's how the throttle position sensor tells where the throttle shaft is by those positions of those magnets. So that led me to believe that this particular part from Amazon has a shield on the outside to keep it from emitting any kind of electromagnetic interference and this shield is not grounded. So anytime you have a shield that you're trying to block interference with, the shield has to be grounded. So, and you can see a little piece of it right here. I took a wire, ran it to the shield, put this back on, and ran that to my body ground. Got in the car, drove it, ran perfect. And that's exactly what's wrong with this uh, piece of junk that I got from Amazon. Now keep in mind, uh, this part that I got from Amazon was only $20 cheaper than an OEM part I got from eBay. And the OEM part was brand new, I double check that. Um, this was just manufactured incorrectly. The shield on the outside is not grounded internally to the ground inside of this fan control module. Therefore, the shield can't do its job. And electromagnetic interference was just being emitted from it and it was affecting the throttle position sensor. In some of my research, I had seen that somebody had a similar issue and their throttle position sensor on the throttle body was bad, replaced it and it was good. So this was affecting the throttle position sensor and making the car think that um, the throttle was in a position that it wasn't in and not allowing it to run correctly. Now, one thing I did notice, I hooked up um, my OBD2 scanner and there were no codes, of course, like I said before, but I'm able to look at certain things on that with my cell phone and my Bluetooth OBD2, OBD2 plug plugged in. And I looked at timing and when the car would do what it was doing with no power, I'd get push the gas pedal in, the timing would drop all the way to zero. And the reason why it was doing that is I think the ECM thought the car was idling and not being 
told to give power. So the throttle position sensor thought that the throttle plate was still closed in the throttle body. So therefore, it didn't have any, any timing. And that was all due to interference from this piece of junk. So I said all of that to say this. Do not buy this part from Amazon. You will be sorry, like I was. I spent a lot of frustrating time and a little bit of money trying to figure this stupid thing out when it was something simple. All right, guys, I hope this video was useful to you. I appreciate you watching. And I think if you like this video, you might want to watch this one.